welcome. I am Debbie with The Crafty Diamond. Today I have a very exciting unboxing um, to show you. At least it's very exciting for me. Um, this is my first time as a creator to have a sneak peek on my channel. So I first want to thank Stephanie and Matt at Lazy River for sending this to me um, for um, an unboxing and review on my channel. I am really excited when she sent me the rendering and asked me if I would be interested in unboxing this canvas. I immediately said, yes, please. This is me. I cannot wait to get it. I did not ask her what size it was. I didn't ask her if it was round or square. I didn't ask her how many colors were in this. It didn't matter. I was just so excited for this rendering and I wanted to share it with you. This is going to be coming out um, soon. I will put the date underneath the description if you're interested, as well as put the link to Lazy River Diamond Painting up there as well. You may be familiar, or I'm sure most of you are, familiar with Lazy River Wood Turning, and this is the same company, but this is Diamond Paintings. There is, on this side over here, there is a small picture of the painting so i want to hide that until i show it to you the box says diamond to draw high grade exquisite if you flip it over here it's going to give you some basic instructions on how to diamond paint and then the back is just going to give you some information on why diamond paint and this did come in another box I went ahead and took it out of that box, out of the shipping box, and so I just have this. So let me open it and try to be really careful so I don't show you. And I'll show you at the end what the box looks like. Okay. So here is the canvas. It is inside, it looks like two dust covers. So there's one dust cover, and then there's this part that covers part of that. So that's really helpful during shipping. And then let me take this off here. Sorry for the crinkling. I'm gonna move this box out of my way for now. Okay. I'm going to roll it back the other way. And this isn't soft lint, but it is very nice and soft. Okay, I'm going to roll it back so you can see it. Oh, this is a good size too. It's not too large. I'm already loving the muted colors. I love muted colors and muted tones. I'm gonna put this over to the side here. Okay, let's see this. This isn't gonna all fit on my table, so I'm going to do it this way, and then I will show you going the other direction in just a minute. This is Lady Dragon by Karen Yumi Lundstedt. It has a schematic on both sides. The schematic is rather large, if you can see there. And I will look and see how many colors in just a minute. But this is absolutely gorgeous. It is a round. Um, they do have their name at the top, LazyRiverWT.com. And then also their Instagram, and that's for their wood turning. But they also have their... Um, their renderings and their canvases in another location as well so I'll put that on there also they have their lazy river emblem here and I do like how large that this is on both sides the other side has the same thing and if you can see it is scalloped and sewn at the top that does help with fraying and I do like that it has the artist information at the bottom, so that's large as well. And I'm going to flip this over. There is a thumbnail on this side. Let's see how well that's going to show up. But it is really pretty. It is a dragon. You can see the dragon in the background there. 
And then it has, there's a woman here with a dragon. So that's Lady Dragon with her dragon. And then um, we have her hair flowing here. There's some greenery down at the bottom. And this is just so, so pretty. I love dragons. I really like how you have, I'm saying, I'm assuming a princess. And I love the really light muted colors. It's the sticky is perfect. The symbols look really good. I don't see any issues of a symbol that I would not be able to read. I'm looking at this right now with just my overhead lights, not a light pad. And it looks really good. The colors are just perfect. So let me also go through and show you what the drills look like and also what the schematic's going to look like. Okay, here is our toolkit. We have a boat, a small plate of wax, we have a pen, and then also we have a multi-placer. It looks like a two-placer on there. And then we have a, it's like a seven placer on the back and that's all you need to diamond paint. I'll go ahead and open that. For those of you that do not have your own accessories, you can use exactly what is in this bag. There's your pin with the single placer on the end. You can put this one on this end if you would like. It doesn't say, I think that may be a seven placer possibly there. And then... We have this one as well, your small boat, and then your small wax. If you use this wax, make sure you do take the plastic off. If not, you will not get any wax on your pin, and you'll not be able to pick up your drills. Okay. I like how the covering on here, it's not too thick and it's not too thin. I think it's just right and let me see what size this does not say on here that's the top let's go back up to the top here this is a 50 by 68 so that is a perfect size let me get my measuring tape here just to see out of curiosity make sure I'm on centimeters And I measure from the start of the drill field, and that is right at 50. Then let's go this way. I am really looking forward to this one. It looks like there's going to be quite a bit of confetti on here just by glancing at this. And I am a fan of confetti, so I don't mind that at all. And that is 68 right on so 50 by 68, that is exactly what it says. But this is so, so pretty. And I'm going to, I can't bring it out to show you. My table is just not long enough. But let's look at the drills. Sorry for the crinkling. The bag that... The drills actually come in. It's a really thick plastic, so that's really nice. Okay, we do have, this is really nice. It says, thank you for your order, Steph and Matt. Again, Stephanie sent this to me, so I wanted to thank Stephanie and Matt for sending this to me. I am really excited about it. I also have a starfish, and that is a cover minder. So let me see how many colors this has. It has 60 colors. And let me see. It does have some ABs. It has two ABs in here. Three ABs. It has three ABs. And the ABs, I'll see it's going to be E. This is not going to be easy trying to look at this. E is pink. It is right around here is E. Um, let's see, where else? We've got some in her hair, it looks like. There's a lot of places where I can see that I can easily put some of these drills. That I can add my own drills if I want to. 
but I don't think I'm going to because this is so muted, the colors, that I'm not sure how other ABs will look. And I also want to see what this is like with the exact rendering. Here's a larger picture. That is just absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to get started on this. I mean, look at these beautiful ABs. Look how pretty that those are. And look how shiny. I love ABs. And if you're not familiar with what an AB is, that is Aurora Borealis. And that has a special coating on it. And it makes it more shiny. And also makes drills around those shine more. And it just gives it an overall glow. So I just absolutely love using ABs. And I may add some more, but if you look at these colors, and they're in baggies. I know that a lot of you like to work out of baggies. Unfortunately, I don't like to work out of baggies, but I love to kit up. And I don't see any static in these either. I don't see any static whatsoever. These drills look really good. I don't see any little places on here. I don't see any extra little pieces. They look very nice. Let's see, I'm gonna go with the darker color just to see. This one's 939. Let's get a darker color and see if we see anything. I don't see any holes in these. This is going to be really pretty. And don't go through all of the drills, but I wanted to show you. And I can't get over how nice this bag is. I keep this bag while I'm kidding up. And I put my trash in it and all I have to do is just dump it in the garbage. But these are really pretty colors. There's lots of grays in here. There's a muted purple, some blues, some greens. This is absolutely gorgeous. And I will be kidding this up. I do want to start working on this one, especially since this is a new company. And I want to go ahead and give Steph some feedback as I'm working on this. I'm going to flip this over. I want to just show you different sections. And at the end, I am going to move this to where you will be able to see it better. And you'll be able to see the entire canvas. But this is just beautiful. And the fact that it's around, it's going to be nice too. I love squares. I love rounds. And like I said, I didn't even bother to ask Steph when she asked me if I would like to have this one. Didn't even bother to ask her, you know, what size is it? I didn't ask her any questions because I love both round and square. I can do confetti. I can do color blocking. I can do a combination. I am just excited that I have this kit. And I love like the dragon's eye there. That's going to be really pretty. And I even put some, some ABs in her eyes possibly or maybe even the dragon's eye. But um, I really like the backgrounds of this. And these are some of my favorite colors in here. I love pinks. I love purples. And I think this will work up fairly quickly. This section, like right through here, that has quite a bit of color blocking. And if you're not familiar with that, that's where you have some, the same color in a small section. Whereas in some of these others, where you're going to have several colors in a smaller section. Um, this at the bottom here, all of this greenery that's around here, that is, or it could be, I think that's what that is. It's kind of hard to tell right now, but around through here, and this is going to be where there's going to be more colors, and so you're going to have to change your colors out more often. But I really do like this. So I am definitely going to be looking forward to working on this one. I do have several others that I need to work on, but I'm going to move this one up because I cannot wait to see what this is going to look like rendered. So I'm going to turn it around the other way and I want to show you what this looks like and then I will be right back.
mention that Lazy River does give you um, this inventory sheet. It gives you all the numbers here, lets you know how many colors are in this kit. So there's two pages. There's a total of 60 colors. It also tells you how many bags that you should have of each color, but I don't really go through and check the inventory. What I am concerned about is the DMC number, which is here, and then this code. So if you can see those codes and you see the DMC number, I will make a copy of this and then I will run this through my Xyron. I will only um, use the code and the DMC, so I'll cut everything else off. I will run those two columns through my Xyron machine. I will use that to kit up. So right now they do not have the um, individual stickers that's in here. That does cost more money. And so this works perfectly fine for me. And for those of you that do not have a Xyron or you don't have any way of um, doing this, then you can easily just number it one through 60 on your containers or even better, just use the actual baggies because these baggies are Ziploc bags and they simply just close and they, they have a really good closure on them. So you can use these as Ziploc for, as you would for Ziploc baggies and just have these in order and then that way just pull them out. It has the DMC number here and then this tells you the weight. So this is 0.3 grams. Not that that really um, matters, but that's what that means. Lady Dragon is going to be part of the third release for Lazy River Diamond Paintings. And if you um, don't like this one, then take a look at the others that are coming out because there are several and I am sure you will find one that you really do like. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please click on the like button before you leave. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. I think that you will like it here. And until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye.